Hey everybody, it's Carol again with Refunction Crafts. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I am going to bring you a tutorial on how I'm going to take, these are little um, progressive little houses. Um, we've got the big, medium, and small. And I actually picked these up at a thrift store and I got really excited when I saw them. They were just plain wood. Um, so I did paint them and um, distress them a bit by uh, sanding them down in different places because I wanted them to be more rustic and primitive looking. Um, but that's really all I've done. I did glue this onto this one before I decided I was going to go ahead and do a video on these. So only that one has got that little piece of um, trim on it. So I will be trimming out these other two as well. Um, but I thought this would be, and you can see right now they fit one inside the other, and that's how I bought them. They were all together. Um, and again, I got super excited when I saw them because I saw the potential of making something really cool with these. So I've actually had them for quite a while. I bought them quite a while back and just have been pondering what I was going to do with them. And I finally came up with my ideas and decided it was time to, to make these beautiful. So this is what we're going to be doing. I have a whole lot of embellishments and stuff off to the side here. I'm not going to put everything up in front of the camera right now because um, I just it's just a whole bunch of stuff. And I figure I'm going to try and keep it a little bit neater today. And I've got a surprise that I'm going to be doing to these that I'm hoping works out. If it doesn't, then we won't do it. But I wanted to show you guys, too, I have a bunch of these little filigree uh, butterflies and clocks and um, hearts and stuff that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree. Some of them I got from the Dollar Tree. Some of them I already had. This is a Dollar Tree butterfly. This is one that I got at another little local store um, here in town. Um, but I just wanted to show you, I took some uh, glossy accents and I went over one side of all of these with that and it really, really classed them up a lot, I thought anyway. Made them nice and shiny and I really liked the way they turned out. I just kind of had an idea yesterday to see what it would look like and this is glossy accents it's what I am using instead of triple thick now. This works really, really well. It's not super cheap, but it works really well to add uh, shine to your projects. I can put them on my paper flowers. I can put them on, um, you know, the, the, the surfaces of things to add my glass glitter to. They work for just about any, it works for just about anything. And it's almost like... Um, if I was to describe what it is like, and I will put a link to this, uh, an Amazon link to where you can get it, um, but it's almost like, because when it sticks to your hands, it sticks to your hands kind of like super glue does, and it's not super easy to get off, so you want to be careful when you're using it and try not to get it all over yourself. Um, but... It really did a nice job on these and I particularly like these little clocks and I did pick up packages of these at the Dollar Tree whoops I'm turning it the wrong way at the Dollar Tree and I love this little clock here because it's real swirly and um, just has a really nice uh, vintage look to it and really all of them do um, they're all super pretty and I loved this particular heart that they had in the Dollar Tree hearts. So I liked the way it was kind of um, lacy on the edges. And so I really, really like these hearts. The other hearts that were in the package were okay, but not anything to write home about. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that I did that. And I'm going to be probably using a couple of those in this project today. So um, that was why I went ahead and started uh, putting the glossy accents. Oh, and I did this little bird in a cage. That one, eh, it's okay. Um, but 
let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I did with this one is I did put the, the trim around it. I'm going to go ahead and trim out the other two with this um, so that you guys can see what I did. I love this trim. This is some that I got in Happy Mail a very, very long time ago. And this is, you know, so if you guys send me Happy Mail and you send me really cool things and I don't use them right away, I don't, I don't like to use my stuff until I have that perfect project for it. So even if I haven't used it, it doesn't mean I don't love it because I will use it eventually, but not until I have the right project to use it in. So just know this I've probably had for a good year and a half. And I used it in a project a little while back. Um, and thankfully, I had a lot of it. And it's very vintage-y looking. I really, really like it. And I thought it kind of gave the, the birdhouse a look of um, grass kind of going around the bottom of it. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to use that in my houses. So I'm just going to start with the back. I'm just going to start kind of in the center of the back and we're just going to glue this all the way around. It sticks really, really well. <clears throat> and we're just going to quickly go around the entire house. And this might be a little bit of a long video, but it's going to be totally worth it in the end because when you guys see some of the stuff that I'm doing on it, you're going to get really excited um, because I'm using some other stuff that I got um, actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to cut this right here and hopefully my torch, my torch is not working very well. It's just, I filled it the other day, but it just doesn't seem to want to fire up. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and we'll just use a lighter. All right. Okay, so that one's done. And now to get the tiny house. Okay, and I'm going to try and make sure that I'm staying on camera for everything that I'm doing today. I repositioned my camera because I realized that every time I'm bending over and trying to do something close up, I was ending up with my my head right in the middle of the camera. And it, number one, wasn't very attractive. Um, it just made my head look horrible <laughs> and my hair and everything else. So I knew I had to reposition my camera so that if I leaned over, my head wasn't going to be right in the middle of the the visual. And I'm just burning these to make sure that they don't fray on the ends. So we are done with this. I'm going to put that aside here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the big house. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two smaller houses aside here so that they're not in my way. Wait till you guys see what we're going to be doing on these. You are going to love it. And you know, you can buy little wooden um, houses at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They sell them. And they're really not that expensive. And they're, some of them have a, a lot of character. Um, I've been thinking about going and buying some of those myself to do maybe a couple of different videos on. Um, these would be really cute on top of the little... Um, candle sticks that you can get at the Dollar Tree if you painted them white. The problem is these don't have bottoms so I'd have to make a bottom for them before I could do that but they would be really cute on those stands in that graduated 
look on a mantle imagine and when you see what I'm gonna do with these in the the end you'll even agree more with me so just wait till you see what we're gonna do um, so anyway what I'm gonna be doing is I have some of my little stickers that I bought at the Dollar Tree you guys know I love these and this is the one that says friends and family gather here for love laughter and cheer and I, that's one of my favorite ones and then I've also got this one and you can maybe kind of tell I added maybe not it the shine is not gonna come through guys um, oh there you go I added some glossy accents to the top of this and a little bit of stickles around the edges of the the uh, the verbiage on here so um, I thought that kind of looked really pretty and then I'm also using these uh, I'm looking for the package of the other ones With them. Well, I don't know what I did with them. I might have put them away already. Um, these little, uh, these, these I got at the Dollar Tree. They're stickers, and they come in little packages of like six or nine of these. And I saw um, uh, Crafty Devotion was making some little um, kits with these. And she was doing some really pretty stuff. And I'm not doing what she did, but I am kind of going along those lines because she gave me the idea of using flowers with them and making them appear as though they're coming out of the pot. And I really, really loved hers. Hers are absolutely gorgeous I don't remember the name of the video um, that she did that in but y'all have to get over to, to her channel because she is one of the best crafters that I can um, that I watch I at least in my opinion she's one of the best she's got ideas like crazy and she just does amazing stuff with her um, creativity. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one right here so that the sign is just above the opening in this house. And so that's kind of what it's going to look like. I put the, I'm putting this kind of behind the top portion of the sign. And it will that way it kind of pops off a little bit from the the um, the wood here and actually I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna nip off a piece of this and sort of glue it under here so that that um, pot sticks up off of the surface but I want to do it kind of down lower so that um, the flowers can still kind of get inside there so uh, let me move this and we'll put this right there and I'm going to stick it right to the toothpick just like that and that way it kind of sticks off of the house and it's got this little you can see where it's kind of oops let me get rid of that it's kind of got um, an open space between the house and the pot and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my sign on oops I have a And I'm going to put this sort of between those spaces, just like that. And 
And then I will glue the pot right down here as well on top of the grass. And I'm also going to use a little bit of uh, Spanish moss on this as well in a couple of spots. There. Okay. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, I have a whole bunch of these little uh, flowers some that I got in Happy Mail and some that I bought at Michael's. And I'm going to be using some of these in this house. So I'm just going to kind of pull a bunch of them aside here. Decide which ones I'm going to use. And I also have some of this greenery that I want to use. The other thing that I pulled out is that the Dollar Tree has these rub-on, um, well no, these are actually stickers of greenery that you can buy. And I thought I might try using some of these too because I only have a couple pieces of this greenery um, and I really want to make sure I get some of that in behind this. I'm just going to kind of tear the bottom section off of this because I want to put this in first and I should have put it under that pot so I'm just gonna cut it off a little bit more and it just won't go as deep into the pot. I'll just cut this little piece off here and I'm gonna pop it in just like that. Oops, I have to put glue in my glue gun here. Just like that, just kind of coming off the center. All right, and then let's see, I want to get a couple of these. I'm going to cut that off. A couple of these um, other flowers that I have here, too. And I don't know if I'm going to use all of these exactly or exactly how many of them I'm going to use. This is going to go here too, but I'm going to wait to put that one on because I have some other things that I want to do here. And I don't want to over uh, overfill this now before I've had a chance to kind of put my other stuff in. These are going to go on the other side. So I'm going to move them out of my way so that I don't accidentally go ahead and put them in this part. So yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and start gluing these down a little bit. That way they won't move as I go. That one will go higher. And then this one push down. Whoops! Oh darn it. I hate when I do that. <laughs> this one I'm going to push down a little bit more so that it's kind of hanging over the pot. And now this is just going to look awful. Sorry you guys, I hate when I get glue on my mat like that. Especially right at the beginning of my video. Okay. That's all right, no big deal. And then I think I'm gonna put this one kind of coming right out there. Just off to that side. And you can see how pretty this is going to be with those hanging over the edge. I just thought she is so clever. Um, I just, she is the most creative person. And I just love her work. And she, she does the most, vi uh, the most beautiful vintage and shabby chic designs. And I know she sells a lot of kits and things as well. Um, 
but like I said, you know, hopefully I'm not taking business away from myself, but I don't care because I, that's kind of who I am. I like to, um, if I like someone's work, I'm going to let you know I like their work and you should get over and check them out. That's just, just the way it should be. And I really like her work. I think her, her name is Lynn Bienvenidas or something like that. And she's awesome. She just is. <laughs> so a little competition. No, nope, never hurt anybody. And I would hope that she would do the same for me if she thought that my stuff was good. I don't, don't want anybody to try and sell people on my stuff if it's not good. So, um, or if they don't like it, you know, that's, that's not okay. But Lynn's stuff is awesome. So, I think... I think I'm trying to decide. Maybe I do want to have this sort of popping out here. This can't be this long. I'm just going to pop this back in here. I just want to make sure I can get it to, to go in there before I put my glue on there. Just like that. And then we'll pop this one just like that. I was going to put a dot of glue behind the, the bud there because there was already glue tucked inside there. So look at that, you guys. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Oh my goodness. I love it. And then on this side, I'm going to put... I need to kind of adjust this a little bit. I want to flatten the back side out on this a little bit. And that also enables me to fluff out the front side a little bit more. And I'm going to have that one just kind of sitting sitting kind of proud of the house up here just like that so let me get some glue in behind here and I realize that the stem is not sitting um, all the way down into the grass but that's okay too because I will just put something down there to kind of cover that that spot and it'll probably be some of my Spanish moss that's the reason I'm gonna pull that out because it kinda of helps fill in the spaces that um, are not filled in otherwise and this one I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on so that it's in its position and that way I'm not gonna leave myself with no space for it when I start putting my other stuff on. There. Isn't that adorable, you guys? You can't say that isn't just adorable. And let's see, I'm gonna put a couple of my other flowers back on this side with this one. Just kinda tuck them in here and there. there trying to also not cover up the little sign I've just gotten to where I really, really love these little wildflowers that um, Kim sent me in my happy mail. Um, 
I adore them and I love the colors. I know they're not the pinks and stuff that I generally use, but I think they're really, really pretty and I, I'm enjoying using some other colors, not just my usual pinks and purples and blues. Um, so I'm totally excited about that. Okay, and I'm going to pull out some of my Spanish moss here. I have a little bit in my drawer right next to me. So I'm just going to pull that out. And I'm just going to add some small pieces of it in a couple of spots, like around the bottom of the little pot here. Just like that. And a little piece right there where I've got some glue popping out. And then we're going to put a little patch on this side. And then a little bit just kind of going across the bottom here. Just a very tiny little bit. I'm going to put just a barely a string of glue there. Just because I want it to, to look kind of uniform going across the front of this. And I may put some around the edges of the sides as well. Because that way the whole thing will look right. And I love that. Doesn't that look pretty? I'm super ex I was so excited to get started on this. I just can't even tell you. I'm just going to go ahead and go across this part here with a little bit of my moss. Again, just kind of in a couple of spots, just using just the smallest amounts. I don't want to overdo it. And I may just look around and see if I have some of those little uh, candlestick stems. And I may end up putting these on those. I haven't decided yet. I'm, if I do, it'll be kind of an off-camera thing uh, before I put them in my shop. But for now, I mean, the main thing is, is I'm trying to decorate the houses and show you what awesome little things you can come up with for uh, gifts. Oh my gosh, this would be the best gift for someone who has like a rustic design in their house. Um, this would be perfect for someone like that. I love rustic. I really, really do. I like that farmhouse chic stuff. Oh, I love it all. And for me, I'm so busy crafting and doing stuff for everybody else and for my shop and everything that, you know, I hardly have anything um, in my own house that I want just because I'm, I craft them, I make them, and then I, I sell them. And I mean, I'm, that's what I'm in business for. I can't keep everything I make, so um, I just have to be... I need to take some time for myself and do some stuff for my own house. That's what I'm trying to say. But no days off right now because I've got to get my shop going and... The only way to do that is by hard work and dedication. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and then I've got this little butterfly I'm trying to decide where I want it to go. This one looks really cute coming off the side of that pot. So I'm going to put a butterfly right here. 
and it really matches it's got the greens and the oranges and stuff so it really matches the flowers and stuff I love that I feel like I need one more flower right here in the center and I have this little red one I hope I'm not gonna be making a mistake by putting it in there but it's a smaller flower and I think it looks just fine in there so I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue right here and I'm gonna pop this little tiny red flower in there because it, I needed something to come out in between these other flowers it was looking like there was an empty spot right there so you can see the little red flower there and I am going to take this butterfly and this is one of my 3d butterflies I had some in my shop that I sold um, I made a couple of sets of them one set for myself for crafting and one set to sell and the other set sold pretty much right away so it's already gone uh, but I thought these would be really cool to add to this I know they're big butterflies and all of that I've got um, different sizes oh actually this is the one for this one I've got three different sizes I've got you know this big one a medium sized one and then I've got this small one for the little house so um, I just think even though that's big I just think it looks you know what I don't know you guys I'm starting to think maybe I should just leave the butterfly off because there I go trying to over embellish something again although you have to admit that looks really cute it would look really pretty with just the small one in there too that looks really nice if I, I wish I had three small ones because then I would for sure be wanting to put them all in there well I think actually here's what I'm gonna do I am going to put this one on this house and I have some of those filigree butterflies here that I can use on the smaller houses and I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to use this one on this house there we go it's on there and it's on there for life now <laughs> okay and then the last thing that I'm going to do this is kind of the surprisey part I have some images here of some uh, kitty cats and little girls holding kitty cats I just had a bunch of um, cat images and oh you know what I don't know if I can do it on this one now that I think about it because this is the one with the wide window I could use this one and sort of glue it in there this would be cute I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna try using this one and hope that it works and doesn't look terrible but I can always take it off if it doesn't look right so I'm not gonna to worry too much make sure I've got it the right way and that I put it in the center And then let's see how this works this is a sort of multicolored fairy lights and I'm thinking I've got this a little crooked that's what I was afraid of because I was trying to do it going sideways that's okay I'll get it spun around here right there 
Let me just get under here with my glue and pop that down. And then I'm going to I'm just going to turn this around for a second so that I can glue down the edges so that it's not uh, kind of all over the place. And I'm just kind of cleaning up some of the glue that kind of oozed out. Okay. So. There it is with the cat in the window. And then, if I put this in there, I think we need to turn some lights off. Let me see if I can get it dark enough here in this room. If not, what I will do is I will take pictures of it uh, in the dark so that you guys can really get a good view of what it looks like. But I think that we'll be okay. Um, okay, so I've got the lights in there, and you can see it's got that little lace butterfly in there, and it looks really cute. So the little kitty cat is poking its head out the window. And then I'm also, on the other ones, I'm going to use these images, and you'll be able to see um, kind of how those images will light up. Um, because the other windows and the other two are smaller and if I find a different image to put in this one I may go ahead and do that um, just so that um, you can see what it'll look like with um, with an image in this one I think I should be able to find something even if it's not a cat maybe I can find um, just something else that would look really pretty in that spot but I'll, I'll look around and see what I can do. Um, meanwhile, we're going to move on to the next one and get these all done for you. Okay. So there is one done. Ori originally I was going to put something on the roof as well. I was thinking about trying um, like some of this lace to go uh, like this at the top. Kind of like that. But I wasn't sure that it really kind of went with the whole rustic thing. Um, and I didn't... Uh, I think I wanted to leave it a little bit more primitive than to add that to it. I may brush some brown paint over the roof, but for now, this is what I'm going to leave it at because I really am happy with how this turned out. And you can see the little kitty in the window. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's put this one aside and we're going to go for the medium sized one. Oh, wait a minute. I did forget something on this. Darn it. I wanted to add one of my um, one of my little clocks to this. And I was just gonna kind of put it not that one. It's gotta go in the right direction. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to cover up that flower. Oh boy, what have I done? Well, you guys, 
I can't decide what to do now. I think it actually looks really pretty sitting right down there, and I'm thinking maybe I might just go with that. This one, if I put that one, I'm going to take off that little nub at the bottom because I don't like that. I think this one actually looks quite pretty right here at the bottom. And I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go with it, you guys. Go with the gut, Carol. Go with the gut. I think it looks really pretty there. So, okay, so the big one's done. Put it aside and I'm not gonna look at it anymore. I'm just gonna leave it alone now. Okay, so next we're going for this one. And on this one, I am using this piece here. Um, and the sign's kind of going more towards the bottom on this one. So I'm going to put it like right there and I'm going to put the pot right there. And this one says, Home, the story of who we are. Super cute. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing these down. And see, that was why I wanted to go ahead and get the sign down and everything on the other one because I knew, I know myself well enough to know I'm going to keep wanting to add stuff. And I'm going to run out of room and then my signs are not going to go in there. And that was kind of my more important thing that I wanted to make sure got in there. So, there we go. And let's go ahead and start putting some of these flowers in. I'm going to do my greenery first and I'm just going to have that coming out the back. that right back in there just like that and I don't know oh that flower was supposed to go on that one too Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to use this. We're going to put that in kind of first. I was looking to see what I did with the other squiggle piece that was on my other one. I hope I didn't, oh, I did throw it away, but it's right on top. So I want to save those for the, for the smallest one. And I'm going to put these two in there. Makes it a lot easier for me to put these in without all those other flowers already on there. So I'm glad I'm doing this one just a little bit differently. And let's see. Don't need the rubber band. All right, we've got, oh, and we've got this one, too. We'll put this in there. Now, I don't need it that long. And this is just some little wildflowers. 
Uh, let's get the glue on. There. Okay, now I'm just going to start gluing these other ones down. Oh shoot, I did it again. Doggone it. My hands, I've got to tell you guys, my hands just are not working the way they should anymore. And it's really starting to make me nervous. I told my husband the other day, I, I, I hope I'm not going to get to a point where I can't craft anymore. It's, it's really making me nervous because I drop things all the time can't hold on to anything and my coordination is just way off I don't know what's going on and it just has me a little bit concerned I try not to worry about it too much but you know when things start to go like that you kind of wonder um, and so I really one of these days I'll get to a doctor and get it checked out. <laughs> and I have I think the purple is going to go off to the side of that sign. I was going to try and use one of these blue ones on this one too, but it's I just think it's too much. Um, and I don't want to I don't want to put too much in there. So we're going to go with this on this side just like that and let's see Oh, these little glue strings are about to drive me crazy. Okay. All right. And let's see, I want to see here, which one do I want to use? I'm thinking maybe want to use one of these on this one. And that clock looks pretty right there, so I'm going to just pop the clock in there. kind of wanted to theme these with the little clocks and that was the whole purpose of me doing those clocks 
was because I wanted to make sure I put one in each one of these. And then, what did I do? I forgot on the first one. I do have a little bit of glue right there, but I can fix that. Um, okay, and let's see. Do I want one more flower back behind here? Come on, you. Oops. Yeah, let me glue that one down before it falls inside again. And let's see. Got another butterfly here, and I'm thinking I might put the butterfly down here towards the bottom on this one. Just on the little pot there. And we need some moss. So let's get a little bit of that on there. Just a little bit. Just a nice finishing touch, you know. Okay, and then I am going to Actually, one of these flowers was supposed to go on each one of these houses, too. And, you know, it's so funny because I had it all set up yesterday, and they all looked so perfect. And today, of course, it doesn't look the same. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. Okay, so that's on there. Um, and I already used the small butterfly, so I can't go there. That is way too big on there. Um, what do I want to do, you guys? Uh, let's see. It needs something over here. But now it just kind of matches that clock too much. Darn it. I'm going to pop this clock off. I hate to do this because it's breaking as I'm doing that. Darn it. Okay, it's all right. I have more. That's trash. Epic fail right there. I ruined it. Okay, so Just having the butterfly and the clock, just to me, it just doesn't work. Here's what we're gonna do, and I hate to do this too, but I'm gonna take 
a big one off of that butterfly and now voila we have another little butterfly and we've got to put this little butterfly right over here because I'm not going to be happy until I get it looking exactly the way I want it and so let's get that butterfly on there and so I don't have a big butterfly now that's okay I can buy more and make more Okay, that looks really pretty. And I think I do need, there's one thing that I do need, and I closed up my flower box, and I need to open it up and grab one more of my little red flowers here. Because again, like the other one, I have one spot here in the center where it feels like it, it really needs one more flower. So I'm going to add a flower right in there. There. Okay, and then just let me add just a tiny bit of moss across here on the sides. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm looking to see if I've got strings on there. Okay, so this is what this one looks like, and we're going to go ahead and we are going to put one of our images um, on the inside of this, and I'm going to use the same lights to decide which image I want to put in there. And then at the end, I'll turn my lights off and we'll, we'll have a look-see at all of these and decide if you guys like it. I think this was a good idea. Um, hopefully you guys will too, because once it's done, it's done. Although, I mean, I could take the images out if I wanted to. And I think those two kitties look pretty in that window, so... We're going to go with that, just as long as I get them in the right place. And Alright, so this is the hard part, getting it on there and getting it to to stay the way I want it because my fat hand doesn't want to go in there right and of course now it's going to bend and fold and it's not cooperating are you kidding me <laughs> I messed that one up I can't see in there to put it down once my hand goes in there, there's no visual. It's 
funny, I was able to do it when I was just looking at it. And now I can't even get it back there. Come on, kitties. Get in there. Okay. I think I got it. Yay! Let me get some glue on the bottom part of this. Oh, of course, I can't do that because my glue gun won't fit in there. <laughs> That's okay. I have the technology to figure this out. And now we will press it down. Okay. So I've got that one in there. I'm not going to show the image yet just because um, at the end we will just go ahead and we'll look at all of them with the images in there and I am going to have to here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish the last one off camera you guys know what I'm doing um, and I will bring it back and we'll see what all three of them looks like and then um, I'll put photos up at the end so you can see them even better. So let me go ahead and finish up this last one and I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so I got them all done. Got the little house completed here and I put lights in each one of them and I'm going to show you one at a time what they look like with the lights on. This one's got a little doggy in the window. I changed it from the, the, lace, um, the lace one to the dog and I think it looks really super cute with that little dog in the window and then this one has two little kitty cats let's see if I can get it in a good in I can see them real well from where I'm at let's see I don't know why it's coming out like really bright there for you guys let me turn this a little bit Maybe that helps. There we go. We've got the two little kitty cats in the window in that one. Isn't that cute? And then this one has two little kitty cats in it as well. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one and see if I can't. Because I can see this. It's really, really easy for me to see the image. And it's real clear and real vibrant. But the light is so bright in there, I think for the camera, it's having a hard time. Uh, let's see. Maybe if I take my business card in there and kind of cover it up a little bit. There you go. You can kind of see it a little bit better. But in my view, in the house here, um, with the lights out, there we go. Um, you can see this image super clearly and it looks super cute again it's got the two little kitty cats in the window so we've got two of them with kitty cats these two and this one with the little doggy in the window and I think they came out absolutely wonderful and if you guys can hold on just a minute I'm going to turn on my lights and do my final thoughts let me just get my light on Okay, and I just wanted to finish that last one off camera so that you didn't have to spend a whole lot more time here watching me work. Um, so let me turn my lights off on these. And these just have the little multicolor lights in them. Still in the package here. Um, so you're getting brand new lights for whoever uh, purchases these. Now, here's my dilemma. Do I, send, do I sell these as a set of the three houses, which I think is probably the best way to sell them, um, because then somebody can put the set of three on their mantle. Or I can sell them one piece at a time, small, medium, and large, and just do them that way, and that way more people can get them. But I don't know. I, I know that somebody is going to want all three of them for their mantle or something. And then I'm going to feel really bad. Because this is absolutely one of a kind. However, 
I can see by doing this I'm going to have to go get some more um, uh, different style birdhouses and stuff and, and start doing some of these because I just think they are absolutely adorable. And so here's the little one. And again with the two kitty cats in the window there. And it's got the clock over here. Each one of them has a clock. It's got the butterfly here. And I did add these flowers here. These were meant to go in these. I had these aside to put them on there, but I had set them somewhere else. I know they're big flowers, but for me, I just love them on these little houses. And I think that it added um, just that last bit of character um, to each piece. And then here's the medium one. And again, it's got the, the blue and green butterfly there and the clock and the beautiful uh, flowers in the pot and then it's got the small butterfly and this one says home the story of who we are isn't that cute and then the little one actually oh I didn't put a sign on the little one I started to and it was too big I may be adding something to this little one I just don't know what it's gonna be right now because I didn't have anything small enough to go there, but I have some other um, some other things that might possibly work. I have my little box of words and stuff, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to come up with anything that is small enough for that little house. I don't want to put lucky on there. Uh, appreciation, sisters, that's a cute one. But that's very limited. Oh wait, here's one. This one just says special, but that's kind of cute. Although it's going to cover up stuff. See, I don't want to I don't want to cover anything up with this cuz it's then it covers up the clock and it's just too much. It's too big. So I'm going to look around and I'm going to see, this one says story, but again, too big. I'm going to see if I can find um, a smaller uh, a smaller sign that says something, you know, great on it. That's just a little, little filigree thing. That doesn't do anything for me. It's not inspiring. Um, but I will find something to go on this one before I put it in my uh, Etsy shop. And then here we have the last one. The big sign says, family is like music. Some high notes, some low notes, but always a beautiful song. And then at the bottom one is, friends and family gather here for love, laughter, and cheer. So I just think these came out so sweet and so pretty. And I'm really, really happy with um, the outcome of these little houses. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really enjoyed doing this one for you. This was a fun time for me. Um, and I feel really, really happy about the way these look. So I'm glad I finally pulled them out and did something with them. Now it's just deciding how am I going to sell them one at a time or a set of three. Um, if you could, you guys, please leave um, comments down below and let me know what you think I should do as far as selling these little houses. Should I put them all three together or should I sell them separately and give three people a chance to get something? This one will definitely have a sign of some sort in there. I, I have to figure that one out. But um, they're all very insp inspirational and beautiful and just adorable so precious um so let me know what you guys think should i sell them together or should i separate them i'm not sure so i would appreciate your input on that um just kind of let me know what what your thoughts are and um everybody thank you for to those who um have subscribed to my channel and i hope for those of you who haven't yet that you will hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified when I do future videos. And um, 
I guess that's it. Thank you to everybody who's been shopping in my Etsy shop. Uh, yesterday was the last day for the pen raffle, so I will be um, putting together my list of people who spent the $50 or more in my Etsy shop to possibly win the, the pen, so I will be raffling off that winner um, sometime this week, uh, po possibly early next week. Got to get all my information together. And I've got to make sure that everyone agrees that it's okay for me to use their name on the channel. If Even if for some reason you don't want me to use your name, I will only use a first name. Um, and it still does not take you out of the running to win that pen. And then I decided that I'm going to try and come up with a new um, giveaway or a new raffle item for every month um, for my Etsy shoppers. So... Um, now I got to come up with something for September so I will be also doing a giveaway for the month of September not sure what it's going to be yet but I'll know I'll let you guys know in my next video and everybody have a super blessed day thank you for being here um, I hope you guys uh, just enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend and take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video and stay tuned for pictures at the end Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.